we're all going into holiday mode this week and with just a couple of days until Thanksgiving, it's uh, a lot of fun. It's a meaningful time of year. The other side of the coin is mental health issues. They spike this time of year. It's a reality best addressed with resources. And that's where my colleague Wendy Ryan comes in tonight. She joins us live leading our special in-depth reporting this evening. Wendy. Thanks, Jameson. I've been working for several weeks now to find powerful stories and resources for all types of obstacles that may come up during the holiday season. And one of the newest tools for mental health help has a lot to do with where I'm anchoring tonight. I'm here at the Metropolitan Ministries Holiday Tent in Tampa, where volunteers are working hard to make sure families in need have a full Thanksgiving meal. We'll be talking to their CEO in the next half hour, but we begin with a shocking statistic from Metropolitan Ministries. They found 93% of families exposed to homelessness suffer emotional and psychological trauma. So the nonprofit group really decided to open a new counseling and resiliency center to provide individual family and group therapy, all free of charge. They just need rest and need somebody to listen and need somebody to validate their experience. And that's a lot of what we do here in counseling. Victoria Hummer, the director of Metropolitan Ministries new counseling and resiliency center, says this pandemic has caused many to lose their job and their home. And now their mental well-being is at stake. They have to start over completely. And so there's nothing predictable to rely on. So everything feels very out of kilter. For a while, even though they come into a shelter and they feel like at least they're not in their car and they're safe, it's not the same as having their own home. The Resiliency Center offers all kinds of counseling sessions, including individual therapy, couples therapy, family therapy, and group therapy. Groups are often around things like teaching mindfulness, things like helping them understand the impact of trauma, um, developing self-awareness resiliency, so they're skill building and an opportunity for them to um, share with other people that have maybe had a similar experience. And for young children, becoming homeless can be quite traumatic and scary. So the center uses play therapy to help little ones express their feelings. A lot of them like to draw, and you can tell how they're feeling by what they're drawing, who they put in the picture. A lot of them behind me is the dollhouse, and so they will often play out all kinds of scenarios maybe wished for, maybe things that have happened to them with the dollhouse or the costuming or the animals. I mean, those are mechanisms through which they express their angst. And parents who are also stressed can really use the free therapy sessions to help them feel less alone. Having a private counselor to spend like a half an hour or 50 minutes with you is a big deal. And I think that they benefit. Nancy Iben has volunteered at Metropolitan Ministries for almost a decade, but also donated all the money to renovate this building so the counseling center could become a reality. She even helped design it, knowing as a licensed therapist how important it is for everyone to feel welcome. I think the benefit of talking to someone is that you have an, a non-judgmental uh, person in front of you that's going to enable you to bounce off some ideas and help you problem solve. So if you're still feeling isolated and stuck, please reach out for help. Let us help you gain some skills that can help you bounce back and that can help you calm and can help you help your children learn how to take deep breaths and enjoy the moment and imagine a future and hope for yourself. And if you're interested in receiving help, the Counseling Center is adjacent to the main campus at Metropolitan Ministries, and the address is right there on your screen, or you can call 813-209-1200. The center is already serving about 100 people per week, but it hopes to expand soon to see even more members of the community around them. They say about 50% of their clients are now being seen virtually as well.